the matter understanding the basis of the prophetic ministry understanding the basis of what sir the prophetic ministry see i don't have lost rates of time i have to rush i cannot go over many things i said in the first service i've been able to put in our spirit some important things and then hallelujah praise the lord one of the ministry of the prophetic mini hallelujah one of the assignments of those that god have saddled with the office of a prophet one of the assignments among the ones i told you in first service which is that they have governmental also they have governmental responsibility to play in the church they are to bring the counsel and the mind of god to us in time and season more to it is that every prophet is also saddled with the responsibility of bringing prophetic insight to solve problem in local churches or the body of christ at large it is also the responsibility or the ministry of a prophet to bring solution to the local body act chapter 15 please look at it please i want you to be very fast in act chapter 15 verses 2 the prophets are to provide solution where there is doctrinal disorder it is the assignment of a prophet to bring order can we read together the bible says and, and what can we read together in act chapter 15 verses 2 the bible says when therefore paul and barnabas had no small decision and was a disputation with them they determined that paul and barnabas and certain other of them should go up to jerusalem unto the apostles and elders about the was a question give me verses can you see that prophetic ministry is to bring order and the apostles and the elders came together to consider the question there is a matter that is bringing issue maybe for instance they are saying can a man marry two wives and then it becomes a controversial issue the people to bring order and say what should be done and how it should be done is the ministry of prophets i, I want to get an answer so in 26 we now saw can i have 26 please 26 please oh god the bible now say men that have asserted their life for the name of our lord jesus christ they've laid down their life and we saw in verse 32 that they were able to reach a compromise by the effective judgment and judas and silas being prophets also themselves exalted the brethren with many words and confirmed so the solution was resolved it is the ministry of prophets that brings order to this boot apostle are you saying when we are fighting the church we're going to make prophet that's not what i'm saying i'm saying when it comes to doctrinal issues prophets have high responsibility to bring things in order are we blessed so i've been emphasizing on the what's prophetic progression stages of the prophetic you move first from what's the gift of prophecy towards then you become a prophesying believer then you become what's you have a prophetic ministry and then there is what's the office of a prophet if you understand that shout fire so as believer we progress exercising simple gift of prophecy to flow in the prophetic ministry we can expect increase in accuracy and increase in measure of pure message from god and less mixture of human spirit as we continue to exercise ourselves we keep getting better is god speaking to somebody is god speaking to somebody so now quickly in the next few minutes I want to tell you something very profound. How many of you want to hear it? How many of you want to hear it? I want to speak about the prophet. What did I say? You are not saying it to. I know by the grace of God you've been hearing about prophet. I've said so much in second service, but in this service, I just want to speak about what's up, the prophet. Can you shout it three times? Let me hear you. I can't hear you now. Can you say it louder the first time the word prophet will be mentioned in the bible the first you know there's something called the law of first mission in theology the first time the word prophet will be mentioned in the bible was in genesis chapter 20 and verse 7. the first occurrence of the word prophet in the old testament is found in genesis 20 and verse 7 
and that's when what god was talking to abimelech when god was warning give me attention please when god was rebooking abimelech and now therefore restore his wife for he is a prophet look at me the first mention of the word of that word prophet it was first mentioned in this portion of the bible and that was when abraham told a king called abimelech that sarah was his sister for fear of being armed and then later the lord came in the vision of the night and he said the woman you have in your custody is the wife of a prophet consider yourself a dead man i beg you in the name of god pay attention to what we are doing the first mention of the word prophet is found here that means the first person the bible ever described as a prophet is abraham so therefore if we want to take a study of a prophet we should start with where god starts the first prophet in the scriptures was abraham so we should check the life of abraham and learn one or two things the hebrew word for prophet here in this context is called nabi what do i call it i can't hear you n-a-b-i nabi that's the hebrew word for a prophet so look at your neighbor say you are not a nabi you are not saying it all who is a nabi please i want somebody that have ears and somebody that have voice please who is a nabi who is the first prophet god talk about you are not talking to me oh. and the hebrew word for prophet means nabi and nabi simply means an inspired man in greek in, sorry in hebrew when they say somebody is a nabi it means that the person is an inspired person are we blessed that means the prophetic ministry is essentially an inspirational ministry are we together now if you don't have inspiration you don't have business in the prophetic ministry prophets are people that are under the heavy avalanche of the inspiration from the lord when we say inspiration it means their motivation for speaking is not themselves but of god what they give as expression as word is not their word but this word of god the first prophet in the bible the first nabi in the bible is who's up i can't hear you and sir it is interesting to note that in its first usage the first prophet that was ever measured ah uh, was not a prophet that was giving prophecy so i'm already showing you dimension to the prophetic that you are prophet that you're a prophet does not essentially mean that you'll be giving prophecy because the first name prophet in the bible there is nowhere the bible told us abraham gave one prophecy but yet it was the first prophet the first prophet which is abraham his own prophetic ministry as a was connection to intersexual abraham was always praying lord what of if you find 10 righteous people what of if you find 10 righteous people if you find 20 righteous people if you find 30 righteous people without sin destroy the city of sodom gomorrah the first known prophet in the scriptures he wasn't a prophet that gave prophecy but he was a praying prophet sir the first dimension to the prophetic is what they call the prophetic intercessor you can never look at me sir you can never be a prophet if you don't love prayers any man who does not pray cannot be a prophet and yet you can be prayerful and god did not call you as a prophet it's god speaking to you now if you understand what i'm saying shall fire. fire i can't hear you sir fire. a prophet therefore from abraham's life 
can therefore be described as someone that have close communion with God and can intercede for others. Sir, from my own first research, I discover that the first first name prophet was Abraham. Yet, Abraham was not a prophet that gave prophecy, but he was a prophecy that it was a prophet that had close intimacy with God and such was able to make intersection for people if you understand that shout fire, fire. and out of that fellowship with God Abraham had plenty of inspiration we draw out what we tell people from the hour and the riches of our investment in prayers you can't give prophecy if you don't pray a lot the inspiration comes from our prayer room the inspiration comes from our worship the inspiration comes from our koilonia that is why i'm already teaching somebody how to know a real prophet a real prophet is a prayerful person hmm? a real prophet is an intercessor you can't separate intercessory from prophetic ministry how on earth will you get inspiration if you don't pray how will you be inspired of the lord if you don't spend time in his presence did you hear what the lord said to me one day i was in the church the lord spoke to me and said you can never hear my voice if you are not praying if you are not studying if you are not worshiping say on these three these are the three entry point through which you can gain access to my voice he said if you are not doing any of these things you can't hear my voice what god is saying that there are things that you must do that will create atmosphere for him to inspire you and that inspiration becomes the voice of god for direction for encouragement is god speaking to somebody sir? even for your deliverance as i leave this morning and i'm saying showing you I've been able to establish to you too, sir, that every prophet is a no, sir. I can't hear you, sir. You are not talking to me, sir. Every prophet. Bula, every prophet, what, sir? I didn't say international man, no. Good. Is God speaking to somebody, sir? Ay, 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 You see, Abraham never went around giving prophecy, but all his life was prophetic. He never went around giving prophecy, but he lived a life of prophecy. That means he was receiving God's guidance for himself. Abraham was a man who heard from God and walked in divine purpose. He was prophetic in his life that he lived more than in the word that he spoke. Abraham's life was more prophetic than giving prophetic utterance so you can be a prophet it is your life that will reflect the prophetic grace not you giving prophetic word do you understand what i'm saying sir like please come sir come this man is a prophet but he doesn't give prophecy i mean but when you check his life you will know that he's a what sir because every of his step and his move shows that truly God is the one inspiring him. such was the case of the first prophet that the Bible told us about so there is possibility that God is calling you into the prophetic ministry and they might not ask you to say a word you might not be privileged to give a word of prophecy I know this our generation of believers will not agree we will never accept that because we are fame seeker we are people looking for glory we want people to scream and shout our name everything we do is not to the glory of god isaiah want to come here and start calling people's name so when they call people's name they say it's a deep prophet the other day i was watching a prophet he said he told somebody say your name is abel the man said yes pastor he look at it say me pastor and he said yes prophet say me prophet and then he said yes major prophet say good and then the hype man shout my father the prophetic this the prophetic that come on sir when the prophet is laying claim on the glory of god calm down and start for his end 
that's why our generation we can't find real prophet abraham was a prophet of god but he fought the first but he never gave any verbal prophetic word it was his life someone says life i can't hear you sir ever there is something can be prophetic and it will not give prophecy but when you check his life you will know that's what sir your mother can be prophetic and she will never give one prophetic word but people from outside will know that your mother is what sir ah your mother is a prophet so you come back home and say mommy i want to apply for uk visa your mommy look at you and say no 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 uk no way sir then you ask your mommy which one your mommy say france say france okay then first entry point the visa will enter it gets to france everything is falling in place so he comes back home he said mommy i've seen a brother i want to marry the mother said what's his name what is what sir what's his name he said jude jude katangora then the mother said oh no 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 it's not jude it's not what sir it's not jude katangora but there's jude in the name you got the jude but katangora is wrong sir there are mothers that are prophetical and there are mothers that are romantic sir I feel fine Oh, hello, where? Bread. They are mother that are that are breadmatic. They just want bread. It's all I want is good life for my children. No, that's not good life. You are giving them what's up. The trajectory is showing that many parents will rule the life of their children by not being prophetic. When you look at certain people's life, you will know that there's a rope off of prophetic grace around them. Who can tell them what to do? It's God speaking to somebody. Let me make you laugh. They say they want to do a men conference. So my wife came to me. I was reading. He said, I've gotten a team for the women program. I said, What's the team? She said, This is a team. And I said, That's not correct. So really, I said, That's not correct. I said, Go and pray again. She went back, she went to pray. In Kotebet don't be the Masma Barani. Praise God. Praise God. And then, see, well, praise God. <laughs> Hallelujah. Then, she came back again, self prayed. And I said, what did you hear this time? Then she told me, I said, this one is correct. This one is what's happening. They are prophetic people. When it is time, they know. I said, I was, I was, I was preaching the crusade. One sister, Stashawa. She saw me say, I'm to thank God, God brought you to crusade in our state this time. And she was running after me. He said, my fiancé wants to go to U.S. I just turned back. Tell him it's not U.S. Tell him to go to Canada. I'm sorry. Tell him to go to U.K. He said, wait now, sir. I'm going to preach. And that was all. The husband went on with U.S. They denied him. Denied him. And then he messaged me later. He said, now we are in U.K. After we said, do, do what God told us to do. I said, I just knew it was not U.S. I just know what's up. Elizabeth in your school, in your church in Ibadan. He messaged me after she landed in the UK. He said, Every prophetic word you gave to me has now come to pass. Say glory to God. Sir, there are people when they tell you list. Stop putting one plus one together. May God give you understanding. I said, May God give you understanding. Abraham was not called to give verbal prophetic words. There are dangerous prophets seated here today. You are you know that you are fake. They've warned my friend before in the university. Anyway, he entered with me without the same prophecy, even I was tired of it. So one of his sisters came, he said, Apostle, even that this person came with child have broken his head. I see, you want to break my friend's head? So, what kind of rubbish is he trying with me? He now said, Is it by force to prophesy? And this brother will stay non stop. Anywhere I see you, you must have prophecy. They don't learn prophecy, it is utterances made under the mighty inspiration of God. You don't just come and just start telling people what is not. Are you inspired? I know when to move in the prophetic. Oh, you don't understand what I'm saying? No, you, sir, you master prophecy. You are in your house, you are rehearsing prophecy. She's from go to facebook to invest information 
all sorts of nonsense cramming people's name cramming their details cramming date of birth what will you gain at the end to see shame abi god bless you can't you be real look at the most you prophesy i've shown you the first dimension of the prophetic mama don't fall for all those things there's somebody your daughter eh uh -huh. his name is um amara eh uh -huh. amara eh uh -huh. amara eh uh -huh. amara eh uh -huh. uh -huh. professor has finished prophet has hung you will not fall into the hand of fake prophets that your life is, is suspicious as are you following what i'm saying can i preach more and out of the communion came out inspiration where prophets speak his word they are other interesting inference that we make here about abraham I, I'm, I'm just trying not to go deep it is interesting to note that the first reference to a prophet is tied to us a prayer did you get that the first that means the first ministry of a prophet is what sir you are not talking to me sir if isaiah come and tell me he's a prophet i should listen to him a bit you know why he prays a lot but there are some of you if you tell me you are a prophet i will warn you i will do what sir see you that can't come for many money prayers look at some people's house look at church they can't come any title they call you return it what i say men of real men of god are not lazy you can't be called of god and be lazy eat your neighbor say stop thinking about family problem as a man thinketh in his heart so is if you think problem you become problem is that what you want so hit your neighbor anybody you see that is absent minded just wake them or help them help them help them help them the first ministry of a prophet is tied to prayer sir if you say you are a prophet then you must be a man of prayer the prophetic ministry is laced with prayers you must say prayers yes. i know a prophet in the city of Kaduna is always praying so one day i said to him i said why do you pray lord he said opposed to i don't have another other way i don't know any other way to do it than prayers always praying i attended the church for my childhood my prophet has i've never seen him that's not praying i can't catch him and see him not praying is it not these days pastors that you get to their office they'll say what do you care for tea sweet biscuit coffee men of god that know the latest name of biscuits one say i like my jello fries hot as I'm coming, let me attack the jello of rice. Then how do you hear the jello of God? When you shut down all prophetic potters, how can you go for meeting you are eating? You call it meeting. You want to meet with God, you are eating. And you want people to be blessed. The first ministry of a prophet is prayer every prophetic church must be a praying church and every praying church is a prophetic church you marry a woman that does not pray you don't know you're in trouble first i post why are you always shouting woman you marry a man that does not pray <laughs> you are in trouble because the man has lost his priesthood <laughs> i will bless may god give you understanding somebody went to read guardian and counseling and does not pray the day they bring a case you think it's a guardian case and a counseling case until demon not your and, and, and lock up your shirt then you know you're in trouble don't know you need fire there are some cases you send out devils am i correct evangelist may god give you understanding there are ministries the ministry of prayer he is a abraham is a prophet and he will give me that scriptures let me analyze it my time is up already i'll stop Give me that scriptures. Let me just analyze and put it on hold. Read the scriptures. What did it say? Now, therefore, restore the man's wife, for he is a prophet. And because he is a prophet, what will he be doing? Shall pray for thee. Huh? Pray. Talk to me now. Because he is a prophet, he shall what, sir? So, what does prophet do? Did they cut leave for you? No, sir. 
Did they give you stone to rinse them? Did they, they, you know, I told them in second service, a prophet told somebody to put stone inside pots. As the stone is boiling, you should be reading some. Person is inside this expensive gas season. I said, when you are in the midst of trouble, the brain does not work. The brain does not work when you are going through crisis. I'm praying for three people. You will not fall into the hand of wrong prophet. As my time is up, prayers and intercessor, therefore, are integral part of the prophetic ministry. Someone say prayer, 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 prayer. Someone say prayer, prayer, prayer. We can have people who pray and intercede who are not prophetic. However, we cannot be prophetic without being strong in prayers. Look at your neighbor say, pray. I can't hear you, sir. Let me close with this. Tomorrow we continue. Oh, I don't know what we'll continue. But we're in a prophetic season. In Genesis chapter 18, verse 17. Hear what God said, bro. Bro? Bro? Hear what God said in Genesis 18 and verse 17. What the Lord said is too deep. Hear what God said. God and the Lord said, Shall I hide from Abraham the things which I do? So God is saying, It's a sin on my part. For somebody that is always in my presence, it's always coming to me, always. And I want to do something and I will not tell him. You know, prayer means you are staying with God always. And yet, God will do something. God will not go say, Kai, that will be one of the greatest evil I have done. I will not try it. So, you can't be regular in His presence. And you will not know about what He wants to do regularly. Abraham was consistent. That's why many things catch on away in your life. Because you don't pray. Many things catch on away many things man it will just happen they say man shit man brother you will see pool man you see what's that oh what the hell is this sir you will see say what the heaven is this when a man is not consistent in god's presence many things will just be happening it will break a breakout you will not understand how on earth did this happen yes he happened because we are not in god's presence you were not there in job chapter 2 verse 6 i can't go any further again in job chapter 2 verse 6 the bible says give me one verse 6 the bible says when the sons of men were going to produce present themselves to god now the day was when the son of men came to present themselves before the lord and satan also came but job was not there they were to decide the matter the owner of the case was not there so everything that happened to job happened to him on that's why you are searching for who is doing you because you don't pray people who pray know who is doing them who let you don't understand i know a prophet who wake up in the morning will go and meet those mama mama tiba to him no draw allow me because as they are doing their rubbish he's seeing them the prophetic is open wide it's because you don't pray before your husband pack out it has happened in the spirit if you were regular in the presence stand up you if you see your wife if you always pray your wife want to leave yeah your wife want to leave yeah because you will try to go to on the stone is that not correct oh yeah now be sleeping pack pack we have packing your things she has packed all her things in the realm of the spirit she has gone out this, this guy is he has not woken up since you physically because even in the physical world the, the wife will pack all her load you will see me sleeping it's when you wake up and say, Only where are you? Only where are you? Many things that happen in your family is because nobody's praying. Nobody saw it. Nobody had passion for prayers. There are many women who just wake up and they are thinking, Why are you wasting energy to think when you can use it to pray and change things? You can get better. Don't live a wasted life. Convert everything to prayer. Bible school, can you hear me now? I was still sharing with blessed Let's, up. Let's rise up I was sharing with blessed a mystery yesterday I said I can they submit three names And they asked the person How do you want this name to be published He said the one I put number one Is the most important person that I want And they said we've heard you And they were doing the publishing the person look at number one name remove his eyes look at number two name remove his eyes and then they went to number three name and pick number three name and publish so when we saw the alarm 
I called the person. I said, what is going on? He said, even he does not understand. He said, because the person he put at the third place is the person that came out first. He still told me the story yesterday. And I said, what is going on? Sir, they can put you at the back in life, but we pray you put yourself at the front. It's not a matter of amen. It's a matter of man can only act. It is God that decides. And God decides on the strength of your prayer. That number three person prayed himself from number three to number one. Yes, sir. Why did two people were playing? They were enjoying their life. You know, it's like the story of Badebo he shared. He said they gave three people prophecy. They told one, one will be king. They told the other one that one, that one will be servant. Abby. The one they told became went to relax. The one they told that will be servant. He changed his destiny with prayer. The one they told will be king didn't become king. But the one they told will not become king was the one that ruled. Sir, prayer is an altar of change. If you don't like what you are seeing about your life, change it with prayer. It is never too late to start praying. It is only too late when you die. And that's why they always pull late. I'm praying for three people. Anything you want is possible. You don't need God Father. You need God the Father. The strongest and shortest connection is God. You don't need any mortal man to make progress in life. All you need, you can't predict the destiny of a praying man. You only know their beginning, but you don't know their end. The people you should fear is people that praise. Me, I don't fear people that speak grammar. But when I see a man praying, I, I don't know what dimension, I don't know what angle God is coming from. God can change their life in a twinkle of an eyes. God can do many mighty wonders in their life. That's why you can laugh at anybody, but never laugh at a praying man. A praying man can rise overnight. A praying man can emerge overnight. And I hear in my spirit, the Lord said, He's giving somebody the spirit of prayer. Because He wants to use you to change the story of your family. I decree today. As you leave God's presence, that burden to pray is coming upon you. As, as you leave God's presence, the burden to pray is coming upon you. You will no longer pray without results. You will be praying to see results. Every time you pray, God will answer. The person with the loudest amen, I say, every time you pray, God will answer. I say, every time you pray, God will answer. In one minute, tell God where you want change quickly. I need two people to tell God which area of your life do you want God to change. In one minute, be fast. I don't know if you have any area of your life that you want the Lord to change. Which area of your life do you want the Lord to change? Which areas? Is it this area of my life? Is it this area of my life? Which aspect of your life? Prayer changes things. Prayer changes things. Prayer changes you more than it changes things. A man praying is a man you can't predict their destiny. They are global phenomena. Tell the Lord what you want quickly. Ilasuka in Jesus never pray. As you have spoken to the ears of God, so shall it be for you. I say in the name of Jesus, if your amen can be the loudest, so shall it be for you. This week, you will receive financial help. This week, you will receive financial blessings. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. In Jesus' precious name, I pray. Workers, don't forget we are meeting immediately after the service those of us that want to do baptism class baptism please just sit down and wait a bible school student please just march out to the motion ground and have a good pics of yourself congratulations once again who is the most blessed person tonight who is the most blessed person today we are meeting 6 p.m this evening for act prayer continuation day four god bless you bro no try to be in church tonight act prayers god bless you surely tonight is deliverance night hallelujah tonight is what's deliverance night surely god goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days of our lives and we shall dwell in the house of the lord forever and ever amen look at your neighbor say it is possible to be prophetic